Welcome to this tutorial about checking for and fixing intersections in Altair SimLab. In this tutorial, you will see how to quickly check for or find self-intersections and self-overlaps in a surface mesh. After finding these intersections, you will see how to fix those elements by deleting the intersecting elements and filling the created holes. To do this, First, make sure the surface mesh body for the particular surface you would like to check is visible. Next, in the Mesh ribbon, under Verify, select the intersection icon. This will display any elements that have self-intersections or self-overlaps. At this point, you could try to use the Remesh tool to remesh these elements. But most likely, you will need to delete the elements and fill the holes left behind. To delete, simply select the elements and press Delete on your keyboard or right-click and select Delete. Once you have deleted all of the intersecting elements, you will no longer see them on your screen and this message will appear. To fix the intersections, you will need to fill the holes left behind. You can do this most easily and quickly using the Fill Holes tool. This tool is located in the Geometry ribbon in the Face section. The icon has several options, but for holes, you select the Circle icon for Fill Holes. To fill the holes, choose Mesh as your input and Entity Type as Body. Select the body and then you can click OK. Optionally, you can choose to locally remesh. If you're going to be doing more topology editing, you can leave this until after you are done. Click OK and you can see that the hole is now filled. You can confirm that the intersections are gone by going back and selecting the intersection again. Another option to fill the holes is to manually create elements. We will do this by using the cover body. In the cover body, there is another existing hole. To manually create elements, you go to the Mesh ribbon in the Modify section and choose Create. This allows you to manually select the nodes, in this case three, to create an element. As you can see, we now have a surface mesh free from self-intersections and self-overlaps and is ready to create a volume mesh. This completes the tutorial. Thank you for viewing.